Greetings, greetings, greetings. How are you? Okay, welcome back to the video, guys. First and foremost, I'd like to extend my heartfelt apologies for not uh, giving daily updates regarding my spinal cord stimulator trial. You know, um, I received a question on yesterday and they wanted to know whether if I moved forward with getting the permanent implant and the answer to that is yes. Right now I am seven days post-op from the permanent implant. I was outfitted on November 20, 2020. Um, but right now let's talk about day three from my trial run all the way up to day seven, okay? In the previous video that I posted, I made a mention about how I paid the price of riding in a vehicle. Um, two days after that, I was able to uh, ride in a car with no further pro problems. In fact, I was able to drive myself to my lead pool, have my leads pulled and was able to drive home. No problems whatsoever. Okay, um, I was still able to rest easily. You know, um, I had a significant improvement in sleep patterns. Um, I had a close to a 90% pain reduction. Um, I went from on average being a eight to maybe a early two or mid to early three, you know, it just depend on the days that, you know, I had the issues or whatever, but, um, it was very successful run. It was determined that I should move forward with the permanent implant in which I did, you know, and I will talk about what it's like having the permanent implant in the next video. But in this video, I would like to go ahead and talk about in short summary from day four, all the way to day seven, you know, which was the last three to four days of the trial run from the previous video that I talked about it. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, I mean, it worked pretty good. You know, um, I didn't see any of the difficulties after the lead pull. I did not um, have no issues with like infection or any puffiness or aggravation or nerve like that. Uh, the only aggravation there was was just from when the implant site where the leads were and as those areas heal throughout, throughout the trial, um, it was no longer a factor. It was just all relief. But I was able to drive myself to my lead pool. They pulled my leads. And as soon as they pulled the leads, it's like immediately I felt a huge difference from having relief to some slight pressure. Of course, my body was still accustomed to having the, the um, leads in my body. And my mind was obviously being told that the pain signals were being intercepted. But a couple of days later, I was back to aching and back to having um, a half night of sleep on average, you know. So it was just a matter of me getting in to um, be scheduled for the procedure and the wait time. It was about a week and a half. Um, I had my leads pulled on the 5th of November and I had my procedure on the 20th of November. So you see how short the window is, but with the way things are today, of course, you know, COVID is standing in the way. I was fortunate enough to um, do a, what you call it, a tele consultation using Zoom meeting or something like that with the surgeons and um, the reps from Boston Scientific. And, you know, they answered all the questions and everyone else asked their questions. Uh, there were a lot of people that were in the wave with me. Um, a lot of them had you know, positive results, you know. Um, there were some that were a bit older than me, um, some my age, you know. I didn't get to sit down with them personally and talk to them, but, you know, I was able to see the questions that they asked and heard the answers or responses from the surgeons that were directed toward them. And um, it's something that is worth being considered, you know. And, and if I would recommend that, you know, you move forward with the permanent, yes, I would recommend that you do so um how is it in the next video please stay tuned because i will tell you the good the bad and the ugly about the initial stages but now that i am like seven days post-op i am beginning to um feel less pain which is mostly which is 90 percent from the actual incision sites because I have two incisions. I have one on my spine and one in my um, lower left column, flank, whatever you want to call it, but over there. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to um, ask me and I'll gladly answer them. Um, any questions about the trial? 
you know, please ask them here. And again, uh, when it comes to the permanent one in which I'm currently outfitted with, um, we'll save those questions for those videos. And that would be the next video that I post, which would be um, pre-admission stages, you know, getting the um, pre-op COVID tests and everything. I actually have video of that. So I may release that sometime between now and then, but um, we're gonna talk about those in the next videos and future videos to come. And we'll just like, you know, post-op, two weeks out and moving forward, you know. Um, I do thank you all so much for watching the video and um, I look forward to making more of them, all right? So until then, may y'all stay safe, hold it in the road and have happy holidays, um, happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, hope you celebrate, happy holidays, God bless, all right, bye-bye.